Hello and welcome to our new project named Constitution Bot. It is a computer program designed to simulate conversation with human about the constitution of the Italian Republic. This code uses some libraries, which utilize some essential function for creating a chatbot and making several linguistic analysis. For, exa for example, we imported the NLTK, that is a library for building Python programs to work with the human language data. Uh, we import also a string library that uh, imports an object based on a string. And uh, on the other string, on the other libraries that we imported, uh, there are also BS4 as BS, library for managing and parsing both HTML and XML pages. Uh, URLib request that uh, allows us uh, um, to use website address management and, uh, imp uh, and uh, the library is named RE that allows us to regular expression management. After the import of some libraries, we can open the URL of the, Const uh, of the Constitution of the Italian Republic and uh, with the subsequent <laughs> operation we read the, at the most sites bytes from the file, analyze the content and identify the paragraph. Inserting all the paragraphs and lowering the upper key. The chatbot creates a first interaction with the user with the phrase My name is Chatbot. I will ask her your queries about chatbots. If you want to exit, type an exit code. We continue with a, a while. Uh, the flag is true. The flag will be false when we decide to finish the conversation. After, we continue uh, writing inside the text. And with some if construct, we can direct the conversation. If the user response is a exit code like by exit CU, the um, chatbot will ask where with try take here and the flag will be false. Otherwise, the user can write other things, for example, thanks or thank you. In this case, the flag will be false and the chatbot prints uh, you are welcome. As if the user um, uses a greet inside the greeting user response, the chatbot will answer with another greet. Otherwise, if the user writes a question, we can start with the process of the text analysis. Um, the first thing that we do is the parsing of the phrase. After, we continue with the instruction post-static that creates an association between the uh, word and its grammatical function. Uh, we can create a grammar that is characterized by sign elements. The first is dt, that is an article, jj, that is adjective, and n, a noun, and db, a verb. The first question grammar means that the, the third article can stay one time or zero time. Uh, the multiplication says that the adjective can stay one, zero, or more time. And the um, addiction means that the noun can stay uh, one or more time. Uh, in particular way, the question, the question mark inside the buckets means that we can um, conjugate the noun or decline the verb. We can continue with another um, instruction, CP that create. Um, that means that the code have to find all the phrase with these grammatical characteristics. And after we create a tree and we'll show the tree. At the end, the code will remove the user response and the user can um, write another question. Now we can do an example of what the chatbot does. We can start writing a law. The chapel will respond with Hey. We can write the first question. When was the constitution drafted? And the chapel will give us the answer. 
we can see the tree. The second question is what is the preamble to the constitution? And it is the password with its tree. The last question is how about Article 32? And we have the last password with the is tree. We end with thanks. And it's just to the last one with your back. After taking the text from Wikipedia, now we start with the semantic treatment. The goal is to provide the chatbot the linguistic knowledge in order to simulate the behavior of the human reader. First of all, we define a function with the keyword def. We return the lemmatization of the tokens that are not stop words. After that, we define another function that called the function defined before. And with that, we obtain the token, removing the uh, punctuation on which we lemmatize. Then we define how chatbot approaches to unusual present presentation made with one of the greeting input. From the user response, we split the sentence. Split takes the words, but it doesn't divide the separators. We define uh, the last uh, function that uh, calculates randomly the response between the different possibilities in greeting responses. Now we have to find the answer to the user's question. The chatbot will answer with the most similar phrase taken from the text. For this, we calculate the similarity using the cosine similarity, so we import it. In the function response, we append the user response to the list of the sentences obtained with the send tokenize. After that, we transform the text into a matrix in which the elements are separated by the function lemmanize. Then we calculate the cosine similarity between the last element of the matrix minus one, that is the user sentence, and the matrix. Then we order the matrix in increasing order of the similarity, and we take the sentence in the penultimate position, that is the most similar phrase. If the high test similarity value is zero, it means that there has been no match and our chatbot has to give us a message to say that it can't process the query. If the similarity value is greater than zero, the chatbot proposes the user the freeze with the utmost similarity. Bye bye! bye. bye. bye.